bounce around to so many live events as we keep our eyes on the different feeds coming in from Fox teams. We're following the story out of Minnetonka. Let's take you right now out to our Fox 29 team as they just broke into coverage there after the shooting at the Ramadan event. Let's listen into their live coverage here on Live Now from Fox. Yeah, this is a wide, wide crime scene, and that's what I wanted to emphasize. It's not just on one corner. It looks like it takes up at least two blocks one way, 46th to 48th Street over in West Philly, and then a couple of blocks back, and who knows how they're going to expand that as they learn more. Uh, but you can bet whenever there's a lot of guns fired, there's a whole lot of bullet shell casings all around, and they got to try to figure out who was firing those guns and do they have all the guns that were fired, and that's going to take a forensic test later down the road. But for right now, the immediate concern of Philadelphia police is to see that the danger of the active shooting going on, this mass shooting, is over. And as far as we know, no more shots fired. And we don't know the conditions on the people shot or the ages. But as I said, when you see little kids in line on a nice spring day to get Mr. Softy ice creams, and they were on the planning, that they were urging families to come to this family event uh, that was huge in attendance. And you can tell just by the area there, you see all those tents. They're not all together. They're going on for a couple of blocks. So this was expected to be a big event, and it certainly was from the Philadelphia police sources saying more than 1,000 people were there when this happened, just before this thing was supposed to end and wrap up at 3 o'clock. Steve, from your understanding, when this first um, was alerted to you by your police sources, this event was an outdoor event, or most of it was happening indoors? Yeah, you can tell it was an outdoor event just by based on all the tents you see on all the streets. It almost looks like a block party type of event, like a big celebration. And when you have that many people, that's why it's going to be outside as well. You probably couldn't have fit that size of a crowd in the mosque that's there. So a nice day. They got nice weather. And sadly, it's all ruined by more Philadelphia gun violence. And right now, as we're taking a live look at Sky Fox high above the scene at 47th and Gerard, well, we're coming off of that shot. But for a moment there, we can see a number of police officers walking down the sidewalk there. Again, you can see the large police presence. There are so many Philadelphia police vehicles on the ground. It's hard to count how many are there. Uh, but this mass shooting, and we can call it a mass shooting at this point, because right now we know at least four people have been shot, probably more, four guns recovered at the scene. Uh, parents are being asked to reunite with their children at 48th and Wyalusing Avenue to meet with the police officers there. Again, we understand about a thousand people were at this event outdoors, and as the shots were fired, everyone started running in multiple directions, and now there are parents looking to reunite with their children. So uh, if you know a parent who was at this event to end Ramadan and is just worried trying to find their children please let them know that this is where they can go to 48th and why losing because we assume that any parent that was at this event or perhaps they weren't there with their kids at this event are now looking to uh find their children steve she but one of the saddest sights i saw about a dozen police officers around the swings and the playground with that soft ground they have for the safety of kids all looking at bullet shells, it looked like, on another playground, believe it or not, which has just happened. We had a rec center shooting just days ago as well. But you can bet if it's a nice day like this and kids are in an event, there's a playground on the same block. Maybe kids were there at the time. And that is the biggest fear, that kids get hit by any stray gunfire because you wouldn't think anybody would intend to shoot children, even if they're, you know, a little bit crazy enough to fire a gun and pull a gun at such a large event where there's so many families in attendance. But to see all those police looking like they're examining the ground and looking for any trace of evidence, whether somebody was shooting from there, and that would be what would happen if there's bullet shells there or if somebody was wounded there. So that was just awful to see that. The, all the images that I first saw from our Sky Fox shot was all things that related to kids. And I saw the invitation for this event promoting it, and it mentioned children a couple of times. So that's my thinking right now. And here's the other thing, Sheba. How often have we talked on breaking news events like this where we have an initial report from Philly police of multiple shots and we end up learning that people ran for their lives wounded, ended up being driven to the hospital themselves, not in a police car scooped, as we call it here in Philly, or taken in an ambulance. So we may find the numbers of people grazed or shot 
even higher once the, the people at the hospital work on them and contact the police said, hey, we had another walk-in, we had another drive-in over here. The only positive thing out of this, Sheba, is that close to Penn Presbyterian where we have maybe the best surgeons and nurses and tech staff in the world at handling bullet shell wounds because they've had so much experience at it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the fact that they're so close to a hospital definitely helps things here and the immediate police response as well. See, we're going to let you go for just a few minutes here because we need to bring someone in on the line. Again, if you're just joining us, multiple people shot at an event to mark the end of Ramadan, an Eid celebration happening in West Philly. This is at 47th and Girard happening around 2.30 this afternoon. So we're, we're going on to close to an hour now since this event, since the shooting. Uh, cut short this Eid celebration in West Philadelphia. From what we understand right now, again, this is preliminary information coming in right now. Four people shot. Uh, there may be more victims. This is preliminary. Four guns recovered right now. Philadelphia police detaining several people. Philadelphia police have multiple officers on the ground. We have counted 20 plus Philadelphia police vehicles. So this is all hands response here. Um, about a thousand people at last report seen running from this outdoor event. Police have this park area right in the area 47th and Girard blocked off with police tape. We have seen multiple areas blocked off with police tape. And from what we can understand, there's, a, there's an area there at 47th and Girard where there's a number of tents set up and that is possibly where this Eid celebration was taking place today before gunshots erupted and cut the event drastically short here. Parents seeking to reunite with their children Please head on over to 48th and Wyalusing Avenue to meet with police. That is the staging point uh, right now for all of those parents looking for their kids. And what we do understand that there were a number of kids at this event to end Ramadan. And right now, a number of those kids are looking to reunite with, with their parents. Okay. All right, I understand we have someone on the phone right now. Sir, can you um, give us your first and last name, please? Uh, first name is Abdallah. Last name is uh, L-E-G-A Slick. And you were at this event, sir? No, I wasn't here. I was in my office over here on the, in the Girard Meat Market inside. You know, I'm a general manager. Okay. So, um, I heard a lot of people were running uh, right, left with kids and uh, with their family and the boys and uh, girls. And, um, and they, they, they came in inside and we have to lock the door inside because they are afraid and scared. So um, they told me that they've been, somebody been shot there like uh, for a couple people there. So this is what happened. How close are you um, to the shooting scene here? We, we are like uh, not even a uh, couple feet. Uh, we're not like between uh, Joao and Lancaster. We are in intersection, you know, across the street, like a couple of uh, couple feet. I mean, we're talking about like um, 300 feet, 400 feet could be. Just a scary, scary afternoon. How are those kids doing? Well, the kids, they've been scared. Some of them, they were crying and their parents, they can't find their parents and stuff like that. Um, everybody was running. And the thing is like, uh, um, oh, I mean, I understand that um, it was an event for the Muslim people. It is a shame, and it was very sad to uh, to see something like this. At least, um, um, if it was the police over here to protect those those people for the, any event like this, that would be nice. I mean, uh, I mean, all the event like more than we're gonna say 500 people over here, and uh, there is no protection, no uh, security. That's that's not right. Hmm. So you're saying before the event began, you saw, and even during the event, you saw no police presence on the ground? No, I saw one or two, but there's no, like, you know, for, for this event, for Muslim aid, uh, it had to be um, at least, like, uh, some uh, security for them, you know what I mean? So um, there's uh, good people, there's bad people, you know, and, and you know, uh, West Philly, Philly, it's always happened, always there is a lot of shooting in, in this area. I mean, you know, Philadelphia, I don't have to tell you uh, exactly what's, uh, what's going on with this crimes. 
So around 2.30, um, did you hear, did you distinctly hear the shots ring out? Yeah, we did. We did hear uh, some, you know, shots. But I want to know, it's like a lot of people running and screaming. So so you can hear a lot of screams still, you know, and people, you know, what I said is like a lot of kids, you know, running on right lips. And how many shots did it sound like to you that were fired? Yeah, it could be three, four, could be like this, you know. And the kids, they immediately came into your store, the Gerard yeah, Meat Market. Yeah. Um, about how many kids came into the store? Like about like uh, a dozen. I mean, I can't tell, you know. It's like, uh, could be 20, 30, like a lot of, you know. Well, all of those came into the store. Yeah. And uh, around how old? Contact, yeah, I mean, um, around like between, um, I can see like uh, between five, six years old until like um, they are teenagers like those uh, about like 14 16 17 you know but um the the, the bad thing is like uh, when you saw like those kids crying they're looking for their their parents they don't have no phones i have to give them the phone they call their mom and dad and you know and they finally they they came and they um you know they uh, they took home you know you know with them so well, it's a good thing that you were there to provide refuge for these kids that uh, yeah, sure. were just so shaken up. Are they still in, in the store with you? Well, no. Everybody left because now it's quiet okay. and uh, and uh, there's uh, there's no um, no uh, I mean uh, no work for uh, uh, what's we call. We have a lot of work to do actually, and we have a lot of business. We have a restaurant. We have to deliver their their product, their meat. So we cannot move from here. <laughs> I mean, we cannot leave the, the place, you know. They, they, they block every single corner over here, so. Okay, all of the blocks there are, are shut yeah. down. And we're taking a live look from high above via our chopper. We can see a number of, a number of blocks are blocked off around this crime scene here. When those kids came into your store, what were they saying to you, Abdallah? They were, they were, they were scared. They will tell me um, somebody got shot. I saw somebody um, like uh, I, I think uh, what the lady she was saying um, somebody was shot like close to her. I mean um, she was shot and she was scared and crying, you know. And I feel like feel very bad for those those kids. I mean they can see this these things like this. I mean it is it is a, it is a shame. Yeah, it is traumatizing. Yeah, you have yeah. kids as young as five, six years old coming into your store, the Gerard Meat Market there, after seeing uh, some people get shot, shots fired, just a traumatizing event. And, you know, you have an Eid celebration where people come with a sense of safety, uh, a time to celebrate the end of Ramadan, and, and then these shots are fired. And I think people have this sense that they're just not safe anywhere. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and with this event, I mean, uh, the celebration.